Oh, Akon's up here. We're in the jungle right now. Absolutely. I don't know where we are in Africa, but we're in Africa. I thought you saw Drake personally. Like, La was he uh, Diesel? Like, no, crazy? No, actually, it was um last month. Matter of fact. Oh, get out of here, bro. He was showing me that um hologram that he was doing, uh, you know, for a show. Okay. Oh, yeah. the Tupac joint. Yeah, the Tupac joint. Okay. I was, you know, I was blown away because I got a chance to see it before he even put it on the stage. Wow, that's ill. Uh, yeah, he. Oh man, I was like, wow. How much did that cost? I think it was like <laughs> you, you, five G's a six like, pack. Like each six pack was five G's. <laughs> <laughs> you know that, you know that, right? You, you know, know what that? says? Because as many collaborations I do, boy, I'm gonna be do yo, that'd be expensive on my show, huh? I was like, hold on, man, I, now I, I ain't gotta know, pay man. everybody. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Let me just digitally enhance everybody. You know what I'm saying? I, I spoke to Ti about that. He said he's gonna do one where he sends it out everywhere, so he'll it he'll be sense. like, yeah, that's kind of ill. Yeah, it makes sense. He's gonna have tiny in there, like you know, a hologram. Of <laughs> no, let me stop. Let me stop, man. For the new mixtape drops July second, man. Yo, yeah, today we're man. gonna debut a couple records, man. Now nah, let's get into it. Who? And I'm excited, know, man. I think this right here is gonna be one of the most epicest mixtapes I've put out in a long time. We're so happy we had you at Avenue A Soundcheck. You would hang with the rich people, models, yeah, you know, man. We all was the rockers. Up in there, B. Yeah. I felt rich that day. <laughs> 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 I I didn't even know who can even DJ in front of a crowd like that. I know, <laughs> like, yo, it was crazy. Yo, you saw I, how they wiggled a little bit. Yeah. You, yo, you got to get them to wiggle, man. Yeah, yeah. Man was switching up from rock music yeah. <laughs> to hip hop to dance. He yeah. even did a little bit of jazz and ballet in there. I know, man. It was serious <laughs> in there, right? Shocked. You feeling yeah. real rounded, Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> we debuted this record uh used to know on avenue a last weekend and of course now we're going to debut the whole record Ex yes. explain to me who money j and frost is those are your new artists yeah so money j you know he's, he's he's um creating a lot of buzz in the south right now yeah um he had a record out that we put out about a year ago um called death row which was jamming in the streets oh wow yeah it's, it's jamming so now you know, he took a little break to kind of like revamp because a lot of cats are biting his styles and ad libs. Oh, wow. Yeah, they know who they are, though. <laughs> Trust me, they know. So, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't believe me, they know. So now he's coming out fresh. He even changed his name to Money Man. Oh, wow. Because there was a lot of Money Jays even out there. So oh, yeah, now he's coming here. out fresh. You know, I'm babying him on the mixtape, so you'll get to hear him. He's spitting crazy. And then we got um, Frost. You know what she look like? She's she's sexy. Frost, she's hot. She 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 look like my sister. She oh, like she would be my sister. Oh, get out of here, bro. Yeah, so be easy, brother. Be easy. Why well, I got a little sister? <laughs> <laughs> a little moisture right there. A little baby. moisture right there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah she, but she's she been truth, crazy though. though. Yeah, like, she's she, the truth, man. Like damn. she she been in the closet for so long, just patiently waiting. Yeah. You know, I never really signed artists like rappers if you notice we never really signed rappers like really got behind them on that level because convict just became more of an r&b label but just gave opportunities to cats from the streets you know what i'm saying mm. and then after i signed um frenchie and and and, and rare cafe and did those joint ventures with diddy i kind of said okay now let me just start your own thing yeah just you know I plus you made a lot of money off of gaga so yeah i mean you know, that kind of opened yeah. up the budget for other you know cast mm. to be able to open up <laughs> wow. their little budgets you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you gotta open up the big budget to create small budgets i got a lady <laughs> nana if you want to sign her <laughs> <laughs> you know what white chicken Long Island you know? <laughs> absolutely you know cause I used to want to do so many records like this and then you have advisors in your ear man you can't do those kind of records anymore mm. you're too big you can't da -da -da. after a while I was like man what the fuck y'all talking about man I'm rich as hell <laughs> fuck y'all niggas like out of here yeah right? man like this is, yeah I shouldn't have to sit there and think like like the mo <laughs> when a nigga come to me and tell me I can't do a street record, I'm yeah, like, I'm looking at the motherfucker like, nigga, are you serious? That's <laughs> an origin. Like, yeah, like so I got to a point now, I said, you know what? Okay, since the labels won't put out street records from me, how about I just do them shits and give them away? And then they just like shit it on themselves. Right? Period. <laughs> <laughs> now they can't even sell it. <laughs> no, Stadium is one of them records where it rounds out my whole career. Like, you're gonna hear street records, you're gonna hear, you know my eclectic early acoustic type of vibe records then you're mm. gonna also hear maybe one or two dance records but more than anything you're gonna hear real music like i'm going back to just real music again on this record do you have to like train <clears throat> your voice all the time when you got to sing and all that stuff nah man that's for them r&b niggas man i don't drink all that milk and honey you don't do all that <laughs> la, 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 I, la, I, la. I, I was... so they do they see i don't do none of that man i don't <laughs> read my t's i t those shit oh, for real? Like, i don't do warm no air conditioning in an air conditioned I, I room one, i don't me i'm african so i don't even like a cold room that has nothing to do with my voice i just don't fuck with you don't the be air. barefoot like... yeah me and babylon breeze do not get along brother <laughs> like i hate air conditioning and that's just because i just don't like cold air you know what i'm saying okay but it has nothing to do with my voice, though. That just me just not liking cold environments at all. But more than anything, my voice always been the same. 
You know okay. what I'm saying? Well, I don't good. really uh, treat it. I just talk and sing. How How was it when you did the song with uh, David Guetta? I remember when I was in London, man. It, mm -hmm. it seemed like a whole nother crowd mm -hmm. just opened up to you. Yeah, you know? like it was it was crazy because every time I was in Europe, like I always, and for people that, I mean, my for real fans know what it is, but every time I put out a basic record, I always did international remixes. Oh, okay. You know what I'm Mad saying? Mad DJs did. Mad yeah, DJs. Yeah, yeah. Like, I got Chucky. I know all, exactly. Yeah. Like, they all all part of the family. Like, they all under the umbrella. So That's it dope. was like, okay, cool. So now if we do a record like uh, Smack That, for instance, there will be a dance version of it Tiesto in those clubs. And all them. Yeah, all, you know the, all the top dudes, all the top And DJs. I realized how big dance was, you know, in Europe. So I was like, yo, this could be huge if mm. we kind of figured out a way to make this shit pop off in the States. It'd be a wrap. You know? Absolutely, mm. and that's when um, me and David had the conversation. I was like, "Yo, man, let me just let me jump on one of these tracks. Mm. Let's figure out a way to break this over there." And it was not on that, but I got an, I had another artist that I was um, working on at the time that I feel like the dance was the way to go for her. So oh, okay. this was a way to open up that market, so he could even even open the door for her. Oh, you nice. know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> and at the time, of course, it was Lady Gaga, but it was all kind of planned out to figure out how we can just expose the dance market there, so it'd be an easier you know, transition for her to actually blow in and it just actually took on its own world. Pretty much at everybody, You, you did hooks for, every, for everyone. Yeah. Is there anybody you haven't do, did a hook for? You do a hook Jay -Z's for? Jay-Z's the only person I haven't did a hook for. Serious? Yeah. Get the hell out of here. He's the only person I haven't did a hook for. You brought up but Dre earlier. Much, was there anything going on with Detox? Did he get your expertise for that or? Well, with Detox, I mean, I was just happy the fact that I got a chance to work on it. Wow, that's good. You know, I did man. I did about maybe four or five records. What? About four or five records. I have to go over record. there and be like, <clears throat> hell yeah, let me get that. You know, you know what I'm saying? The question is whether or not they're going to make the album. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's sitting like, hey, am I going to make the album? You know what I'm saying? And is the album ever going to come out? Anybody else was there? Like Nas, you know, or anybody was I in mean, the I don't think it's nobody that he didn't work with, though. Yeah. You know, Dre worked with everybody for this record, so... We got like a hundred. The good thing, the good thing, <laughs> the good thing is, I can die tomorrow and feel good about it, knowing that I actually released the first single off the album. Yeah, that was gangster. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. my, like my record was the first single off of it, but the fact is, the album just never followed up with it. <laughs> <laughs> like the album never came behind it. So, you know, at least we got the cushion there. <laughs> You, you brought a 50, man. That's still kill, man. When we, no, when what? we perform that, people would be right. dying, people no. running, screaming. Crazy, <laughs> man. I saw a kid die. Like, I was like, yo, yo. see a dead kid right here. <laughs> Play what up, gangsta. I was like, yo, there's a dead kid right here, yo. Like, <laughs> I don't know. But that that was a powerful, like, that, that was is, a powerful record, man. Like, I feel it's like funny. it's a movie even, even, when it comes on. No, nah, it is a movie. Mm. And the video is powerful, too. But it's so crazy because even when I do my own shows, it's always a crowd out there like, still kill, do still kill. <laughs> Still kill, <laughs> still will kill. <laughs> so I'm like, homie, we're doing happy pop records right yeah. now. <laughs> I don't care. Do still will kill. Why kill you? <laughs> Yo, you I'm like, yo. damn, 50? This nigga bringing all these violent ass niggas to my shows and shit. <laughs> Let's get this is why it. I left hip hop in the first place. Man. I'm trying to do a concert in peace without having to toss somebody off the stage. Shout <laughs> out to uh, Fabulous who, who joined this mixtape uh, masterpiece right here, Concrete My man Jungle. Fab. That, that, that was a, a cool surprise right there. You know, yeah. I know you know him, but I didn't yeah. think that he would be on your mix. You'd be in the South with Shorty Low all day. I don't know. But <laughs> I didn't think that Fab would be on that. But how, how did that come about, man? You no, just, actually, you yeah, we, we had to reach out to Fab for that one, man. Wow, that's hot. Yeah, that, that record just felt like New York. You know, so I said, and I hadn't been, I mean, actually, I haven't really did an album, a record with Fab outside of his album. Oh, wow. So I was like, yo, Fab, I'm putting out this mixtape, man. You should check out this record. Fab heard the record, put like three verses on it. He tried to keep the record. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I said, hold on, Fab. Look, look. I right, look, this is how we're going to do, Fab. <laughs> let me just get that, let me get, just pick a verse of your choosing. Nah, give it get to out me. of here, I swear <laughs> to God. I said, give me a, a verse of your choosing, and then we'll make sure that we we'll put that a version of your own version on your album. With, you can put all three verses on your album. He's like, I bet. Let's go. What are you doing for Fourth of July? Right? Uh, Fourth of July. Fourth of July. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna chill at the crib, man. Pop some fireworks. I see you got the, you got the baby thing going on right now. Can, yeah, you I got a shout out. Shout her out, man. Ooh, you wanna say hello to everybody. Say hello. Go ahead, say everybody. Say what's yeah. up, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> She's a little nervous. She was smacking me in the head though. Smacking day. you in the head. <laughs> you ain't gonna say hello to everybody? Yeah. You know how many people listening? <laughs> you got over 10 million people saying what's up. Say hi. Say what's up, 10 million people. Hey. What? You, <laughs> you getting shy on me? <laughs> you ain't never shy. <laughs> wow. As far as like uh, features on Stadium, a lot of 
fans are hitting me up like who's gonna be on your first big single your first like i know you got like a big surprise for us coming up like you know the yeah next month. this with this this album well i mean if you if you know the history of my albums my albums always have minimal features because i'm always featuring on everybody else's albums yeah okay so i don't put too many features on my album personally that don't, that don't really help you with touring either no nah, it doesn't help because then you can't bring them with you, you. be like yo I'm, I'm in kazakhstan can you listen, come <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know, now they got the hologram system though <laughs> 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 i'm about to Minaj. holly all these niggas right now <laughs> i'm Minaj. a holly them. ass hologram <laughs> <laughs> i'll hit the, i'll hit the holograms man. straight up <laughs> <laughs> hologram my dick <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yo, shout out to y'all. Oh, oh, man. Yo, you, know, you don't talk to these guys, do you? You know, you don't. No, be like, no, I, the... I talk to all of them. What the hell's going to, on? I like, talk to everybody, man. I just. It's embarrassing how <laughs> like get... friends are beefing now. You got Pusha T, Lil Wayne. You got this guy. That like they're all like. It's not like real beef. Like no, nah, it's not real beef. It's crazy. Yeah, it's it's not like Nas and Jay Z going at it back in the days. Fifty Ja Rule, like you know. You, like you knew there was yeah. a beef there. Like you knew they couldn't be in the same room. Yeah, like you, know, you can feel that something was gonna go down. J was you know, Jay Z ate Nas B mother out, so I'll be mad too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was written, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be furious, hey, yo, you know what I mean? Moisture. Moisture. I think that's more like yogurt. But uh, <laughs> uh, Chris Brown, he, he wants to know if he could get you his new headphones, though. Uh, oh, we got new headphones, too? Yeah, it's coming out. Uh, Yo, everybody got headphones, man. Yeah, it's coming out for us. Uh, Beats by Drake. So if you, if you, if you need a pair. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Uh, it sounds crazy, though. It's like, you know, you can pop bottles, do it. You know. <laughs> Screaming is screaming with sound, you know. Ah, uh, <laughs> yo, who is crazy? Yo, yo.